Welcome back to my channel. I'm Denny and today we have a sample it Sunday. We haven't had a sample it Sunday in quite a while and it's about that time. I have a bunch of sample packets that I have here that I am ready to tell you all so about. The first sample that I have here is by Eva NYC and this is the Purse Perfect hair towelette. And I actually have the towelette in here for this purpose. So this right here is the towelette that came inside of this packet. And what this is, this is supposed to be a towelette that you can smooth your hair out when you have flyaways. Instead of like carrying some Moroccan oil or your whatever you moisturize your hair with, they have these convenient little packets that have the towelette that you can smooth your hair out. Well, let me just tell you, this was one of those products that I was on the fence with. I didn't really think it was something that I needed but the other day I had all these flyaways and my hair was kind of getting frizzy and um, this right here came in handy it was everything that I needed and now I have to go and find these guys I don't know how much they retail for but this sample I'm very glad that I tried out because it was one that I found very useful the next sample that I have is by this brand Chlorine I don't know if I'm saying that right, but these are eye patches which you put under your eyes so that they can get hydrated and I guess get rid of those dark circles. Well, I tested this out and I honestly didn't see a big difference. And I don't think this is a product that I would want to go out and purchase. I know I've tried the Tarte um, patches. I'm not sure of the name, but I'll put it down here. I've tried those and they really hydrate and you can really see the difference under your eyes but with this one I really didn't see much of a difference. So the next sample that I have is from Crabtree and Evelyn and this is a hemp therapy lotion sample and this is in the gardeners. Now there is quite a bit of product inside of this packet. Some of it is coming out because uh, I didn't like the smell of it. It did work and it is moisturizing but the smell was kind of off and I really didn't like the way it smelled so this was one that I'm going to have to give it a no. I also have this sample by Lancome and this is the La Base Pro. This is a primer that you put on before you put on your foundation and I tested this out and I would say that it is good but it is also a little bit greasy. So if you're an oily person, I don't think this is a good product for you to use. But if you have dry skin like I do or combination skin where you need a little bit more hydration, this is a very excellent primer. For my type of skin, I think it worked out well. But if you're oily, I would not recommend The next one that I have here is by the brand Skin Fix. This is a face cleansing cloth. And just like I always say with wipes, I don't like to switch from what works well for me. And so this right here was a very dry cleansing cloth. It did clean some of the makeup, but it doesn't really get into the eyeliner real good. It doesn't take off mascara real well. So this I would have to pass as well. I do not recommend it. If you're looking for a good wipe, like I always say, go ahead and get yourself the Pons wipes. These are excellent. They're very moisturized. They have a lot of, you know, soapy goodness inside of them and they really cleanse your face. So the next sample that I have here is by Eucerin and this is the Smooth Repair Dry Skin Lotion. And I know that Eucerin is a good lotion, but this particular one smells funky. If I'm going by the smell, I wouldn't get this. Now, if I'm going by hydration, I would say yes, go ahead and pick it up. But if you're sensitive to certain smells, I don't recommend this. And the next sample that I have right here is this small packet of Skin Iceland Pure Cloud Cream. And this right here is a nighttime cream that you would put on after you've already washed your face, exfoliated, done all of that good stuff, and now you just want to moisturize. This is supposed to be a good moisturizing cream, and I would say this does work, but it's so expensive. 
I went on to the Ulta website and I was just looking it up to see, you know, what I'm looking at because I wasn't really familiar with this particular brand or this particular product, so I went online and a small pot of this stuff is like 50 something dollars. It's good, but it's super expensive. So if you're looking for a good hydrating cream that's not gonna break the budget, this is not the one. So right here I have a sample of the Bosha Vital Daily. And this right here is a daytime moisturizer. I will say I absolutely love this product. I thought it was fantastic. And I honestly want to get a full size of this because it does work really well with my skin. So this is one that I would say yes, I didn't check the price on it, but it does work. So right here I have another sample and this is the Nivea Smooth Sensation Lotion and this is for dry skin and it's perfect for the winter time which we are in right now. So unlike all the other lotions that I spoke about, this one I love the smell of. It was something that was just pleasing to my nose and it is shea butter and I guess it's just shea butter. I thought there was something else, another scent, but this one actually smells really great and I do recommend this so one. So the next sample is this a small sample of the Ola Hendrickson Herbal Day Cream. And this is a moisturizer for during the day. And I will say, it does smell like tea. It smells just like herbal tea. And I really like this one as well. This one worked really well with my skin, but I will say again, it is a little bit more on the greasy side, so if you are oily, I would say stay away. And then I have right here this sample by Glow Recipe, and this is their Watermelon Glow Sleep Mask. And, ah, okay, <laughs> now that we've done all of that, I can tell you, I absolutely love this sleep mask. It smells like watermelon candy, but it also is very moisturizing. I put this on at night, and after I put it on, I just go to sleep with it on. It's not like a regular mask where you have to, you know, rinse it off or anything. It's just like, it's a moisturizer, to, to tell you the truth. You put it on, and then you just go to sleep, and in the morning, you have just the best results. And I know this is a little pricey. The jar of this is like $45, but if you really like to feel hydrated and have really nice soft skin in the morning i would definitely recommend this product and i am going to get it for myself so so i will mention this is not greasy at all this goes on and it dries uh it hydrates but it dries down it doesn't stay very wet or lotiony it's just a very smooth like water based moisturizer and i love it and the last two samples that I have to show you are two little perfume samples that I have and they are actually the same perfume. It is the Couture La La by Juicy Couture. I tested this out. I had two of these samples and I went ahead and used them up. Um, I will say the scent was nice. But, but it does fade rather quickly. It's not a perfume that's going to linger on all day. It's definitely a daytime perfume. And I do not see myself purchasing this in the future just because it's a, it's a nice scent, but it's not something that I would want to wear long term. So those were my recommendations. Those were my samples this lovely Sunday. And I hope that you like this series. If you like Sample Sunday, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, are you like me? who has tons and tons of samples and doesn't use them. If you are like me, go ahead and comment below and tell me, yes, I am a sample hoarder. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my family. And as always, from my house to yours, love ya.